Former Mizzou football Tiger Phil Pitts is returning to his college alma mater. After spending the past 10 years at his high school alma mater, Helias. Mizzou made it official today. Pitts will join Gary Pinkle's coaching staff as a defensive analyst. Phil told me today he'll work alongside new Tiger defensive coordinator Barry Odom in evaluating the Tiger defense. Pitts played under Pinkle at Mizzou from 2001 to 2004. He's had a very successful four-year run as a head coach of Helias. His teams played in two state championship games. Now he'll get a chance to coach on the college level at Mizzou where he feels right at home. I'm really excited about that challenge I and mean, I think everybody knows that you know a coach wants to progress his career and this is an opportunity for me to do that and you know people have been asking me what do I eventually want out of this and you know I got a lot to learn and I got a lot of, a long way to go but it, you know I think I would like to turn this into a, into a full-time career and, and continue and and maybe be a college head coach someday so this is just a starting point for me and, and something that I'm really excited to do. Mizzou coach Gary Pinkle in a release today said quote he's done a great things at a first class program like Helias and we are looking forward to Phil adding his skills to our team. Tom Leffler has been busy writing about Phil Pitts the past two days. He has more on our sports page at Leffler's link. Jeff City 2, Helias 0. That is the score in the Capital City winter rivalries. Last night the Jays basketball team went to double overtime to defeat Helias. Tonight on the wrestling mat at JC High the crosstown duel was decided by halftime. If there was such a thing in wrestling, Peter Custer having a great season for the Jays. Quick takedown, then a quick pin in the first period at 113. Dad Ben Custer in the crowd had to like that. Very competitive match at 126. Helias Crusader Nick Gaines from that famous Gaines wrestling family kept it very close, but Corbin Howard scored some big points in the final seconds to win this one 10 to 5. Jays get a pinfall win from Tanner Irwin. Jacob Bruni, a tech fall for Jeff City. Helias with the only win. Jacob Schulte, a 4 0 decision. Jays would finish strong in the upper weights. Logan Moriarty wins by fall at 160. Three straight pins to end it for Jeff City. Jalen Martin at 195. Then a couple coils would wrap it up. Ian Coyle at 220. Logan Coyle at 285. Jeff City wins. 11 of 12 contested matches, a dominating 68 to 3 win for Phil Cagle's Jays. That is 12 of the last 13 crosstown duels going the way of the Jays. Mexico in wrestling beat Moberly in honor of Mexico coaching legend Bob Gooch tonight. He was honored there, Mexico 49 31 over Moberly. Semifinal night of the 53rd annual Iberia basketball tournament. Hometown Rangers ranked number nine in class two. Got a scare from fifth seeded Crocker. The Lions start the game with three consecutive threes. Blake Newman banks this one in. Lions led by two after one. But here comes Iberia. Dustin Bloodgood knocks down the three pointer. Crocker still led by four going into halftime. Rangers, though, would take the lead in the third. They win it 63 to 56. The other semifinal in Iberia matching the Lions and Bears. Tuscumbia and Richland. Tuscumbia jumping out to the big. First half lead, David Huddleston, two of his game high 24, led the Lions by 22. Lions led it by halftime. Zane Humphreys, three pointer, he had 17. Tuscumbia wins 68 to 48. First time since 2003, Tuscumbia has advanced to the Iberia Tournament Finals. That'll be played on Friday night. And Rod's Big Old Fish brought to you by our friends at the Not Not Agency, Tom, Rick, Harry, and the rest. One big catch to show off from the Lake of the Ozarks last April. Cassandra Snyder Wyatt from Vish. She landed the 33 pounder. That's a 35 and a half inch spoon bill. That is a big old paddlefish on Rod's big old fish.